Welcome to Sunday Sermons. Today's sermon was given in Topeka, Kansas. So let's sit back and listen to the spoken word of the Lord. Today is the 13th Sunday after Pentecost. In the Epistle of St. Paul to Galatians. Brethren, to Abraham were the promises made and to his seed. He saith not unto his seeds as of many, but as of one, and to thy seed, which is Christ. Now this I say, that the testament which was confirmed by God, the law which was made after four hundred and thirty years, doth not disannul or make the promise of no effect. For the inheritance be of the law, it is no more a promise. But God gave it to Abraham by promise. Why then was the law? It was said because of transgressions, until the seed should come to whom he made the promise, be ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator. Now a mediator is not of one, but God is one. Was law then against the promises of God? God forbid. For had there been a law which given which could give life, verily justice should have been by the law. But the scripture has concluded all under sin, that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. The promise of a Redeemer was first made to Adam. This promise was again made to Abraham and his seed. This seed, the descendant of Abraham, is our Lord Jesus Christ. All of the promises are for Jesus Christ and his seed. That is, those <clears throat> who believe all he teaches and do all that he commands. The promised land, then, is the Catholic Church, founded by Jesus Christ. Please stand for the Gospel. And the Gospel is taken from St. Luke. At that time it came to pass, as he was going to Jerusalem, he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain town, there met him ten men that were lepers, who stood afar off, and lifted up their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Whom when he saw, he said, Go, show yourselves to the priests. And it came to pass, as they went, they were made clean. And one of them, when he saw that he was made clean, went back with a loud voice, glorifying God. And he fell on his face before his feet, giving thanks. And this was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were not ten made clean? And where are the nine? There is no one found to return and give glory to God but this stranger. And he said to him, Arise, go thy way, for thy faith have made thee whole. Please be seated. And Jesus answering said, Were not ten made clean? And where are the nine? Ingratitude is a serious matter. How many of us ever take a moment to say, Thanks be to God for the many blessings He has sent us. Yet even this is worthless if we thank God for His blessing and then ignore His law and introduce the leprosy of sin into our lives. After we thank God for His many blessings, let us recall our duty of gratitude to all who have assisted us over the years. Personally, I would like to extend a public thanks to all who have assisted us over the past half a century. We would begin a list of names, but many over the years have specifically requested no acknowledgement of their assistance, wishing to be known only to God and to ourselves as Pope. Now let us consider leprosy, how it can be understood in a spiritual sense. In the old law, there were three kinds of leprosy. Leprosy of the flesh, leprosy of garments, and leprosy of houses. In a spiritual sense, leprosy can be considered as sin. Leprosy of the flesh can be considered those people who easily infect others and lead them into sin. Today, these can be found not only among those whom we come in contact with on the street, but also those we invite before us on the computer or television screens. Such as these must be avoided like the plague they are, for they will soon lead us into sin. Leprosy of garments can be seen in the scandalous lack of dress that parades before us in the world today. 
Let us not invite this impure parade into our homes in any manner whatsoever, for this would be cooperate in a heinous sin. Immodesty is indeed a very grave evil, and it is a leprosy of garments, or we could say a lack of garments. And I will not go into great detail. You should know that modesty is extremely important. Leprosy of houses can be found in almost all houses today where the most scandalous and sinful things are invited in, where blasphemy is tolerated in entertainment or worse, from our own mouths. Let us go to Goffin, who comments on this subject. Quote, where obscenities are indulged in, where unbecoming dances and plays are held, and filthy actions performed. This is what he considers leprosy of houses. If he wrote today, he would continue, where unbecoming entertainments are watched on the television. What the Legion of Decency would have condemned before its demise a half a century ago is now accepted without question by people today as if morality changes. Such is scandalous, and such leprosy must be avoided. And yes, leprosy can be found on YouTube, where this will be broadcast in a little while. So exercise great caution in using the computer as well. Houses which tolerate leprosy are to be avoided, and woe unto those who voluntarily remain in them, and even more woe to those who introduce the leprosy of the world into their own house. You just listened to a sermon given in Topeka, Kansas. To receive more Sunday sermons like this, please go to the contact page at our VIE Catholic Radio website and get information needed to email us or to write us for a free MP3 disc. That's www.viecatholicradio.com. A donation would be appreciated when possible.